Financial Accounting 7b Calculating Ending Inventory Using Goods Available for Sale. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, our email on our website, and the book Cost Accounting for Dummies. It's out in March of 2013. We'll be teaching a free online course that'll be ongoing at least every month. This, com this question combines a couple of topics, some that relate to cost and sales and some that relate to inventory. And there's a basic concept, I titled it Goods Available for Sale, Calculating, I should say, Goods Available for Sale Using the Ending Inventory Formula. And there's a point here, and that is, is that if your gross profit percentage is given, and the example that we have here is, is that gross profit margin is 40% of net sales, which means for every dollar of net sales, I make 40 cents. If I know the gross profit margin, I can compute my cost of goods sold because my cost of goods sold percentage would be 100% less the gross profit percentage. So if my profit's 40 cents of every dollar, my cost of sales, as we'll see in a minute, is 60 cents of every dollar. We're going to use that fact to solve this question. So here's the given information. We're given gross sales and net sales. And since gross profit margin is a percentage of net sales, that gross sale number is a distractor. It's information you do not need to answer the question because gross sales does not take into account returns and allowances and bad debts. So you don't need that piece of information. Freight in is an additional, inven normally an inventoryable cost, a cost you would add to inventory. They segregate it in this question, they don't use it, I'm not sure why, because typically, um, I'll say it this way, freight in and inventory are both inventory costs, they happen to segregate out freight in and they do not include it as a calculation in the answer. There's the ending inventory in dollars and here's the gross profit margin that I just mentioned. And the question is, what is goods available for sale? So I've tried to, on my videos going forward, give, e give you steps, an order of steps to take to solve the problem. So the first step is to use that formula for ending inventory and set that up here. And as you've seen before on other videos, it's beginning inventory plus purchases equals goods available for sale. And as I said many times, there's only two places goods available for sale can go. Can go. Either you sell them, they become cost of goods sold, or they're still in your ending inventory. And you can see that we were given the ending inventory formula there, or the given the ending inventory amount. So I posted it in the formula. The second step is to compute the cost of sold percentage. And again, if you assume net sales is 100%, you sell $1. If 40% or 40 cents of that dollar is profit, 60 cents or 60% of that dollar has to be your cost of sales. So now I have cost of sales as a percentage. That's step two. Step three is, now that I have cost of goods sold as a percentage, let's calculate cost of goods sold in dollars. So I was given net sales of 900000 I multiply that by the cost of goods sold percentage I just figured out in step two, and I get my cost of goods sold in dollars as net sales in dollars times the 60% or the 60 cents of every dollar that's cost of goods sold. So in black I have cost of goods sold in dollars. Now I can wrap up the question by computing goods available for sale, which again is the sum, as we saw in the formula up here, of two numbers. <coughs> Cost of goods sold in dollars from step three, right there. And if I add that to my ending inventory, 200,000, which was given up here, I get my goods available for sale. What I'm essentially doing is filling this from the bottom up. I know the ending inventory number. I just figured out the cost of goods sold number. And so I can go backward and
and add that up because I know that 740,000 less the cost of goods sold in dollars 540 has to equal and I'm going to just put the formula in there because I didn't have it before has to equal that ending inventory number which is $200,000 which is given up here at the top of the question. I'm going to format that for you so you can see that a little better. And underline it. So once again, this really takes the ending inventory formula and fills it in backwards because if I figure out my cost of goods sold in dollars and I was given my ending inventory I can basically go backward and add cost of goods sold and ending inventory together to back into goods available for sale and then I worked it out the way you would normally see it in the ending inventory formula right here so you can see it in both directions so this question uses um, gross profit margin and cost of sale percentages and it also uses knowledge of the ending inventory formula. That's the end of Financial Accounting 7B. Uh, on the website you'll see additional videos not on YouTube and all the Excel spreadsheets I use in the YouTube videos are available. My YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, you can email me for a complete list of videos on YouTube by top topic, organized by topic, makes searching a little easier. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, here's my website. And cost accounting for dummies is being taught in a free online course that's ongoing every month, starting in January of 2013. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.